to win the Herman Trophy twice is such a great honor. There have been so many great players that come before me to win that award, and uh, all those players have gone on to do some great things, so I'm really excited to be amongst those names. And seeing the list of those players is humbling and scary because you look at it, and Mia Hamm is one of them, and I think she's probably one of the most legendary soccer players to ever play the game, especially for the United States. And I think it's pretty cool to be among the list with the Mac Herman Trophy, and hopefully I can one day accomplish what they have in their lifetime playing soccer. For me, it was exciting just to be there and amongst the, the finalists. And I was with the national team for half the season in college. And so I was a little bit surprised that I was honored you know, that night. And to be sitting with some of the best players in college soccer this year, is, is especially Sam, one of my good friends that's here. And um, you know, it was such a humbling experience for me. And, and I enjoy them emotionally. It's fun and it's a ride. I'm really excited for the draft day to be here and going number one overall to Houston. I think it's a great organization and I'm really excited to play in the NWSL. The draft was at 9 a.m. East Coast time, so it was 6 a.m. here, so we were all kind of in our separate rooms and I was kind of like waking up and falling back to sleep and checking Twitter and um, I kind of knew beforehand that Morgan might go first and I was very excited for her and it's so well deserved. She's such a great player and I'm so happy for her. Well, you know, I told her it was probably one of the most anticlimactic drafts in, in some ways because everybody was speculating she was going to go number one. But, you know, I think that's the thing about Morgan that's so impressive. I mean, you know, she was so heralded coming in to college from high school. She'd won every award there was to win coming in, and yet here she has this amazing college career. She, she won the College Player of the Year twice. And uh, I just think, you know, she's a special player in that, in that sense, that she can... You know, all the accolades and all the awards, I think, don't go to her head or anything like that. I think she's a very focused player, uh, very driven player, wants to be the best, and, uh, and uh, I think has all the good values inside of her, the character uh, values that I think is going to help her get there, and that's why she's been successful so far. I think I'm ready for the next chapter to start in, in my life. I talked about a lot of times with the University of Virginia. We made history in a lot of areas, and even though it didn't end the way I wanted it to with our team winning a national championship, I think that we made the University of Virginia program better, and with that being said, I think I can leave, and I feel good doing that, and I think that I'm ready for the next chapter, especially in my professional career, and to, and to start with the national team and being full-time with these teams. 2015 is going to be a great year. It's going to be crazy for a lot of people, and I think especially for us coming out of college, uh, it's going to be different, and there are a lot of changes going on, starting the professional career at a club and also trying to make the World Cup team in the summer, and it's going to be fun. I think it's something that we're going to step out of our comfort zone and, and try and change a lot of our lifestyles. Now I don't have to focus on school, and I can just focus on being the best soccer player that I can be at all times, and I think it's an exciting time in my life of just a lot of changes, and it's going to be fun.